All right, let's execute program. Dist mid. What do you need to find? Distance. All right, let's say six, five point two, four point one, and seven. And there we go, the right answer. Now let's try our midpoint two. X one nine four. 0.63 and 5.9. There we go. Right answer again. Hello guys and welcome back to the Axon Files. Today we will be programming the distance and midpoint formulas into our calculator. The distance formula can be difficult to remember and time consuming to use. So this video will teach you how to make your very own program to calculate the distance and midpoint between any two points. Feel free to pause the video and look at the key press history below whenever you'd like. And let's begin. So there are three basic steps to any calculator program. One, asking the user for input. Two, implementing a formula. And three, displaying the output, which is also the answer. All right, so let's start our program. So we're going to go to programs and we're going to create a new one. And there is a seven character constraint when we're naming our program. So I'm going to go ahead and call this program dis, dist, mid, dist mid, which stands for distance and midpoint, right? So the first function we're going to use is the CLR home function. And what that does is it clears the home screen uh, whenever we execute our program. So we're going to use that function. And next, we're going to create our menu. So we're going to create a menu. And a menu in the calculator program is the same as any menu in a video game. It's the starting point of our program. And in the menu, we're going to ask our user a question. Question, what, what do you need to find? What do you need to find? question mark and end it with double quotes. And now this is very important. We need to put a comma here. And if we don't put a comma, we'll run into errors whenever we're executing our program. So the comma is very important. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create two options for the user. The first option is our, our distance option. They can either choose to find the distance or they can choose to find the midpoint. So the first option is the distance option, the distance. And again, we have to be very careful. We need to put our comma. And now I'm going to label our distance uh, option as option number one and another comma. And now we can create a midpoint option, a midpoint option, midpoint option. And this option will be option number two. So distance is option one and midpoint is option two. All right. And now we need to use something called a label, label one label one and everything under label one will be our pr uh, code for our distance option so we're going to start writing the code for our distance and one of the first big steps we need to do is ask the user for input Ask the user for input under the i slash o it will be the first one so ask the user for input we're going to ask the user for x, x1, x1. 
what is x1 and now we're going to store that input whatever the user put as their answer for our question of x1 we're going to store that using a comma and we're going to store that in a variable I'm going to use x for simplicity and now we need to do the same thing for y1 so alpha lock and we need to do the same thing for y1 y1 and now we're going to store this input as well inside a variable called y right and now in the distance and midpoint formula there's an x1 and a y1 as well as an x2 and a y2 so we also need to ask the user for those so again input we need to ask for x2 ask for x2 and we're gonna store this now we can't store it as x we already used x so we need to store it as a different variable and I'm gonna pick a and you can pick any variable you'd like and I picked a for this program now we need to do the same exact steps for y2 input y2 y2 and again a comma and now since we used y I'm gonna store this as variable b all right so now what we're going to do is write the distance formula into our program as a function so start with the square roots right here now open parentheses and it's going to be our y2 minus y1 so it's b b minus y b minus y close these parentheses squared plus our x2 minus x1 which is a a because our x2 we stored as a a minus minus x close these squared and finally close the parentheses of the square root and now instead of using a comma we're going to use this button right here the sto with an arrow and that's going to store our function that we made here which is just the distance formula as the variable d and this makes it easy for us to go through with the next step which is simply to display we're just going to display d which is our answer so our program is going to take input from the user x1 y1 x2 and y2 it's going to run it through this function we made which is just the distance formula and that's going to come out as a variable called d and d is our final answer but we're not done yet we need to make sure that our program doesn't keep running so what we're going to do is alpha g and that's going to stop our program all right, so we finished our program for our distance formula, and now we can move on to our midpoint formula. So we're gonna start with label, label two, because up here we use label one for our distance formula. Now we're gonna use label two for our midpoint. And now we're gonna do the same thing we did above. We're gonna ask the user for input, input, ask the user for input we're gonna ask them for the same things we did as for the distance formula we're gonna ask them for x x 1 x 1 and we are going to store this as x so we're pretty much gonna do the exact same thing we did for the distance formula and repeat all right, so after we have all of our input, we can start to write the midpoint formula into our program. And I'm gonna split it into two parts, uh, one for the x coordinate and one for the y coordinate. So let's start with the x coordinate. To find the midpoint, 
x coordinate, we need to do x plus a, which is our x2. This divided by 2. And now I'm going to use the STL arrow. I'm going to store it as a variable called g. And you can pick any variable you'd like. And the same steps for our midpoint y coordinate. So y plus b, close those parentheses, and divided by 2. And again, this time I'm going to store it as h. And now we can finally display. We're going to display both g and h. So we have to do g and now comma h. And there you go. You have your very own distance and midpoint program that will work 100% of the time. Thanks for watching and please leave a like and subscribe and be sure to check out our other videos. See you next time on the Axon Files.